everybody. We're in here with a brand new series. Let me know all what you think of it, but we're going to start off here in Factorio. This is a big, big thing. Uh, all designed around making your own factory on an alien planet. Now that may sound a little stupid at first to some people. It may sound a little off-putting, but this game really is in my opinion anyway a really fun interesting game because it is it just combines a whole bunch of things like resource management space management all this other stuff and if you look over here you can get some turrets and stuff to protect yourself from the uh, let's say unhappy denizens of the current alien planet we're on generate our uh, thing in here we don't need no tips I know what I'm doing um, you can read that if you want. Uh, we started in a fairly decent area. Because, see, uh, your basic um, resources that you want are uh, iron, which is this blue stuff, coal, stone, and copper, and water for when you need to uh, start producing electricity. Um, and as you can see, we got that all right here just off of a random... Uh, random generation. So we're going to go ahead and plug into the the steel up here. We also got lots of wood, which is nice. We can go ahead and make ourselves some tools. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a couple picks, and then we can go ahead and mine up some coal. Do, 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 do. It's going to be pretty slow in the beginning. I am not going to deny that. It will be slow in the beginning. But as things pick up, more and more stuff will start to happen. More and more resources will be obtained. And we'll eventually get to a point where there's a lot going on. A lot of automated stuff which will leave us to where we won't have to go around and swing our pick like a madman digging up rocks we can go and do our own thing we can have we can uh, have fun uh, let's see what I want to I'll just go ahead and plop down this guy right over here uh, we're gonna want to get a couple more of these basic mining drills just because they're they're you know, the only things we have right now, and it's a lot easier to use them than it is to stand here and dig all day. I might cut out some of this. So, actually, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna deviate from my normal program of, you know, letting you watch the whole struggle here and I'm actually going to cut back in when I have a little base set up so I will see all of you guys in a minute all right we're back take a look at this shit we got all our copper coming up from our mine down here uh, if you haven't noticed we have a lot of uh, Tele not telephone pole, power lines. There we go, that's the word I was looking for. We got a lot of power lines going every which way. We got a uh, electric mine up here. We got an electric mine right there. We got our steam generator, steam engine, whatever. And we have a science lab la route. We have a science lab. So what I'm doing right now with the science lab is I'm trying to... Um, excuse me research this so that I can more effectively transport my power around. What that means though is that we have to make these little science blobs and they're just a couple gears and a little flask full of some strange liquid. You plop it in the science thing and it does some science. And something that could help us out greatly with that is uh, one of these. Assembly machines. The problem, whoa, the problem with an assembly machine is that it only makes one thing. So you see how if I go ahead and, and uh, click on one of these, 
it takes and it makes a copper plate or it takes a copper plate and an iron gear wheel well I don't have any iron gear wheels in my inventory so it just makes the iron gear wheel well to get an assembler to do that you have to have one to make the iron gear wheels and one to make the finished product so what we're going to do here is I think we're going to one really nice thing is look at all this open land that we have to mess with over here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set up a collection area let's go ahead we need some more iron let's go ahead and make a couple of these boom and boom and then we're gonna go ahead and um yeah, let's actually make an assembler so we can start making up some gears. And then we'll make another assembler that makes up the the, the power plate or the uh the stuff. So we're gonna go ahead let's go ahead and put him right there. Run some power. That's that's not gonna work. So let's go ahead and put you there. Go ahead and make uh, some more telephone poles, power lines, whatever. And then set you to gears. So now, if we take a metal plate, see, we got some metal plates, some iron plates, and stick it in there, he starts making iron gear wheels. Is that what they're called? Yeah, iron gear wheels. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run part of our line. We're not going to want to waste all of our metal plates directly into this thing, but what we'll do is we'll go ahead and turn it and bring it up so that we can just run it past. Because, see, this is where that whole space management uh, that uh, aspect comes into uh, play. It's because you really need to... Um, Keep, keep everything nice and organized so that it all works, but you also have to be really, really good at planning. And, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not great at planning. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and stick you right about there. This will this, this stuff will probably change up a lot as time goes on. Nothing, none of my stuff is ever really all that permanent. But, uh... We'll go ahead and stick some power down, and you... You'll produce the red things. So now what we need to do... Is we need to go ahead... And get... One of these. Do the same thing over here. And go ahead and produce a whole bunch of these things. Yeah, because I'll I will use all those eventually. Let's go ahead and run you this way. Because see, what I'm running into here now is that see how this kinks here. Well, if I had done what I was planning on and just making this whole area a smelter row this all will have to change at some point but like I said none of this is too permanent we'll just rip it all out and rebuild it so what I'll do here is how far do you go not far enough in one segment okay good We'll go ahead and get you on the other side, and then run you up like that. So this just makes it so that we can have our copper plates over there with our uh, iron plates. Okay. Whoops. Let's go ahead and... Oh, okay. Um, grab her... So these inserters just move things in between the, you know, I'm sure you guys can tell, they just move things around. 
Uh, maybe he just needs to be a little bit closer. There we go. Sweet! That's cool. Because now, we don't have to worry about producing them ourselves. We can just watch as our little factory produces everything for us. Choo -choo. We could even do something like... Because this is way out producing this. So we could do something like put a... Uh, put another one over here so that, you know, we're using multiple for multiple. Let's go ahead. Not you. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and we need some more iron plates. There we go. Do, 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 do. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put you there. See, this is another reason why I want to get my, uh, this electronic stuff all uh, done up so that I can more efficiently convey electricity not have to have six million power poles okay so I want you to produce that and then let's go ahead and bring this up just a little bit further let's go ahead and plop down one of these guys boop, boop, boop. right there Power. All right. Now we just need uh, another inserter on the other side, and we're now producing some pretty good stuff. Hmm. All right. I have no idea how long this episode is going to be. I'm going to try and keep it a little shorter. Uh, I'll probably be doing a lot of cutting in the beginning to try and, you know, keep it from being too monotonous or boring for everyone watching. Just because, yeah, I can understand it being pretty, pretty boring just watching me run around and listening to my stupid voice as I, you know, talk about all this stupid stuff. Anyway, I'll probably keep it cut down, um, keep the pretty short so that we're you know always moving forward um other than that i gotta say pretty excited for this series a pretty fun game if you if you like this kind of game and you don't already have it what are you doing with your life you need to you need to go buy this game right now i i did i didn't ask just go do it anyway thank you all for watching I uh, hope you enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe if you want. That's great. Thanks. Um, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you. Goodbye.